At this time, if you would please rise for the procession of our graduates and remain standing for the presentation of colors and the national anthem. Thank you.
Students, friends, and family, please be seated. Welcome to the graduation of the class of 2017. 
I love the caps and gowns, but one of us is going to have to change. My name is Kristen Siebert, and I am the president of this graduating class. Boy, can somebody get me an airplane? Because time sure does fly. Four years ago, we were just preparing to enter high school. As timid eighth graders, we were scared of a change so big. Well, look at us now. It's been just four years, and each one of us has undergone changes in our own lives. Whether it's picking up a new hobby or altering your lifestyle completely, change is something that helps us grow, no matter how small it is. It is important for us, especially at this stage in our life, to grow and become the people that we are meant to be. Now, that's kind of a difficult task to complete on our own, but luckily, we have support along the way. To the teachers we have had in high school, you have impacted us more than you could ever know. Whether it's fearing the sight of a tennis ball after having several hit at you by a teacher, thank you, Mr. Larson, or beginning to worry about inevitable back problems, thank you, Mr. Green, we have all taken something away from the teachers we have had, good or bad. Thank you to those of you who made these four long years bearable, and even in some cases, fun. But it's not just the teachers that support us and have such a huge impact on our lives. It's the family we love, the relationships we've found, and most importantly, the friendships we've made. Without our friends, we would have no one to trust our secrets with, no one to tell our bad jokes to, no one to share our laughs with. Our friends just may be the most important thing we take away from high school, and even if we go our separate ways, the memories will always be there. I would like to take a moment now to mention one friend that we all lost this year, Travis Meyer. He was a bright young man, and he had such an impact on us all. He will be dearly missed, and our memories of him will never be forgotten. Tonight, Travis is honored with a chair holding his graduation cap among his classmates. Although he is no longer with us, he will always be with us in our hearts. Just as our class motto says, with every ending comes a new beginning, we have experienced this firsthand. This previous year, we've had our handful of lasts. Last Friday night football game, last school dance, last crazy spirit week, and while it has been bittersweet, we know that these lasts will not bring us down forever. Now, now we can look forward to plenty of firsts. First day of college, first full-time job, first apartment. It is these firsts that give me hope for the future. We are the contractors, and our future and our lives are the building that we are constructing. Our hopes, our aspirations, our dreams, they aren't seeming so out of reach now. The closer we get to the real world, the closer we get to finally being able to pursue those dreams. As our time in high school comes to an end, it is a closing door. But behind that closed door is a window of opportunity for each and every one of us. All we have to do to live the lives of our dreams is seize the opportunities given to us, not be afraid to step out of our comfort zone and chase the reality we want. It's finally our time, and you can bet that we are going to storm the castle. Class of 2017, we finally did it. And now I am honored to introduce the principal of our school, Mrs. Jill Maris. Good evening. Before us, we have in their black caps and gowns the graduating class of 2017. Among them are seniors we would like to honor for their academic accomplishments as denoted in their program next to their name. Students wearing a gold tassel have been named to the National Honor Society. We also have students wearing a white cord that have been recognized as Illinois State Scholars. And our Knights of Distinction are Canelan students who have earned a 3.0 or higher GPA, taken at least four credits in music, art, world language, or career tech education, and received a C or better in at least two honor courses. Today, you can identify these students by the gold medal they are wearing. 
It is my privilege to introduce to you all of our honored students. If you would please stand at this time so we can recognize you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. The class of 2017 is filled with academic awards, and the academic rigor among this class is impressive. At this time, I am honored to introduce to you and individually welcome to the stage the two students with the highest grade point average. First, our salutatorian, who will be attending Purdue University with a presidential scholarship where she will be pursuing a bachelor's degree in the science of nursing through the university's direct admission nursing program, I'd like to introduce to you Ms. Alessandria Gans. Hello, class of 2017. All right. I would like to begin by first congratulating everyone here, my fellow classmates, parents, and faculty alike, on making it to this long-awaited day. After much anticipation, the, fine has, the time has finally come to transition from a Kalen High School student to alumni. This transition, however exciting, can seem overwhelming in comparison to the past four years. After this ceremony, we, as a fresh new class of alumni, move on from the comfort of structured days spent at the halls of KHS to a lifetime of unknowns. Unknowns and uncertainties like finding your place in society, finding career success, and finding your own form of happiness. So naturally, with such a change at hand, some common questions come to mind by us graduates. What will one do with this newfound freedom? How will one navigate this unchartered territory? How does one know they will succeed? A possible answer can be found in a quote taken from Albert Einstein. In the middle of difficulty lies opportunity. So what is opportunity? By definition, it is a set of circumstances which creates the possibilities for something, be it an event, a goal to be attained, or a new challenge to be conquered. In the middle of perhaps the greatest change a person will experience in their life, the metamorphosis from child to adult, lies great opportunities. Opportunities which present the most extraordinary possibilities. Possibilities for experiences to be lived, memories to be made, and a beautiful, though currently obscure, life to be led. Our challenge is to recognize and seize these opportunities when they present themselves. Now to conclude, I would like to leave you all with a poem that was the creed of a woman who devoted her life to making opportunities possible to those less fortunate and teaching children from this background that they could overcome any adversity. Hopefully these words will inspire you as they have inspired me and will give you some measure of assurance there is a purpose to all of our lives. It goes like this. People are often unreasonable, irrational, and self-centered. Forgive them anyway. If you are kind, some people may accuse you of selfish, ulterior motives. Be kind anyway. If you are successful, you will win some unfaithful friends and some genuine enemies. Succeed anyway. If you are honest and humble, some people may cheat you. Be honest and humble anyway. What you spend years building, others could destroy overnight. Build anyway. If you find serenity and happiness, some people may be jealous. Be happy anyway. The good you do today, people will often forget tomorrow. 
do good anyway. Give the world the best you have, and it will never be enough. Give the world your best anyway. You see, in the final analysis, it is between you and your God. It was never between you and them anyway. Thank you and congratulations. Our valedictorian for the class of 2017 will be attending Cornell University with an additional $3,000 scholarship from Wells Fargo based on her academic performance and community service. And she will be majoring in statistics. I'd like to introduce to you, Ms. Kylie Kurz. Friends, family, and faculty, I would like to start off by thanking you all for not only being here today to celebrate with the class of 2017, but also for all of your support, guidance, and encouragement that has led us here today. It is strange to think that as we walk out of this auditorium that we will be graduates of Cayman High School, class of 2017. It seems so far away for such a long period of time, but now that the day is here, it almost doesn't seem real. Back in January and February, it felt that the day would never get here, and now today we are celebrating our accomplishments as a class and looking toward the future ahead. A little over 12 years ago, I was five years old, and I remember starting my first school. I was super excited with my brand new Hello Kitty lunchbox. My parents were there with their camera, taking pictures and wishing me well. In some ways, not much has changed in 12 years. Here I am today, I didn't bring my Hello Kitty lunchbox, but my parents are here with their camera wishing me well, and I'm very excited. But even though I was excited 12 years ago, I had no idea of the implications of the journey I was about to begin. I didn't know of the many lessons I would be taught right here at Caneland. As a group, we have learned some of the most critical skills needed toward a value-filled and successful future. We have learned to overcome adversity, Everything may not have worked out exactly how you had planned during high school, but what we learned from those experiences has taught us a lot about picking ourselves up, dusting off, and setting and achieving goals to overcome obstacles. Life isn't perfect, but we can draw on how we overcome obstacles with success to shape our path in the future. We have learned that winning is a team sport, whether on the field or stage, classroom or workplace, success cannot be measured by individuals alone. There is always a team effort that earns an individual or a group success. How you support that team and play your role in that team is what makes the difference towards ultimate success. Through our time at Caneland, we may not have always won, but we did learn that winning isn't everything. When you work as a team, the success comes from that effort. And we learn that we have unlimited possibility and with that unlimited opportunity to find what we love and build a future based on what is important to each and every one of us. We are not limited in what we can do and we have the potential for unlimited impact on the world. It is a matter of finding the space where passion and opportunity meet while taking that bold step forward toward claiming your future. 12 years ago, I did not know it was to come after kindergarten. I just knew that I was excited to be there. But today, I know a lot more. Today, I know that I am standing on the brink of my future. Abraham Lincoln had said that the best way to predict your future is to create it. Many of us here today, including our parents, are wondering how our lives are going to turn out. It is okay to wonder, but I also think it's important to realize that our future is not just something that happens to us. It is up to us to create. So, fellow graduates, I urge you today to embrace the opportunity before you. Take what you have learned throughout the last 12 years and put it to good use. Leave behind what isn't helpful and bring forward with you the lessons we have learned right here at Caneland and show everyone what it really means to be a knight. Thank you and congratulations, class of 2017.
Parents, community, faculty and staff, Board of Education and Administration, the day has finally come and we are here to celebrate the accomplishments of these graduates. Class of 2017, four years ago we met for the very first time in the gym at Harder Middle School. You were lined up in your chairs on the floor, getting ready to nervously walk across the floor to receive your certificate, hoping they said your name right and hoping you didn't trip. I remember watching you closely, catching the nervous smiles towards each other, awkward movement as you saw each other all dressed up for the first time in great anticipation of that dance yet to come that night. You probably didn't realize it, but I was standing there just as nervous, getting ready to give my first welcome speech as the new principal of Caneland High School. As I sat there that night, I wondered, how does one act as a principal? When we walk in the halls and I say hi, will you even know who I am? You probably sat there wondering if you would get lost in those halls and if people would see you. We all wondered what the future would bring. I shared with you that we were excited to welcome you to Caneland High School, that we looked forward to seeing what and who you would become and who you would help us to become. You weren't filling the shoes of our graduates of the class of 2013. You were bringing your own gifts, your own talents to join ours, and together we were going to help each other to become the best that we could be. Little did we realize just how far we would actually go from that day to now. Over these past four years, together we have figured out how to be our role. I've gotten comfortable standing in front of you and talking. I've gotten comfortable leading our school. You've gotten comfortable speaking in class and making new friends. You've gotten comfortable figuring out who you are and advocating for your needs. Some of this we learn by watching or from advice from others. But a great deal of our learning to be our roles has come from having the courage to step out and just be who we're supposed to be. Today, we start that next step where you are gonna begin to be a Caneland alumni. You begin to be that college freshman or the new person at a job. You begin to be that adult and you begin to be that person who makes their mark makes a difference to those around you. Again, I'm sure you get ready to be, you wonder, will, you, will they know who I am? Will they say hi to me? Will I make a difference at where I'm going to be? Will it be better because I'm a part of it? Well, I have seen what you are capable of, class of 2017, and without a doubt, I can say yes. I know you will make a difference. In the fall of 2013, you entered our gym for the very first homecoming assembly, freshmen sitting up in the balcony. I painfully remember a portion of that day when the, began, when the band began to play our school fight song. Do you remember? Almost nobody stood up. I remember looking around and thinking that if together we're gonna make a positive difference, we need to begin this together by being proud of who we are. And so together we spread the word that we are Caneland and we couldn't be prouder. We didn't need to create things to be proud of because they were already there. We just need to look for them and celebrate. And then together we declared that we are going to be proud and do things the night's way. And together we defined what that was. But class of 2017, for you, that was just the beginning. Over and over in so many ways, you have been examples for all of us of what the night's way is. You've made us proud as we watched and your pride grow. During these years, you have set records, won awards, individually, collectively, athletically, artistically, musically, theatrically, academically, you have grown physically, mentally, and emotionally. And together we have celebrated things that seemed absolutely impossible. Caneland High School now has a homecoming parade. The Cubs won the World Series. 
four years ago, four years ago, we wouldn't have predicted either of those things happening. We also did not know that together we would grieve. This year, we lost three of our classmates and students, and we felt the weight and the impact we have on each other's lives, sometimes without even knowing it. So tonight, we remember those who are no longer with us, but will always be a part of us. Together over these four years, we have all grown and changed, each and every one of us in this room. Class of 2017, as you head into the coming days and years, becoming the new you, if you ever wonder the impact that you can have, I want you to remember this. This past homecoming assembly, it was so different than the first one we celebrated together. As I stood at the door watching you and the entire student body enter the gym, I smiled as I realized almost everyone was wearing black and white or a Caneland shirt of some kind. I gotta say, when the spirit contest between the classes, I got a little nervous for you. Boy, were those freshmen loud. But how cool is it that they already knew how to be a knight? I loved it when it was their turn to do the karaoke and the cell phones came out and waved the light for them. But the best part for me, the part that gave me goosebumps and brought a tear to my eye was when they played the school fight song and everybody stood up. Parents and community, I need you to know that this class has truly helped us to bring back the Caneland School spirit. Graduates, you have truly made a lasting impact on our community. When Don Beebe visited, he shared, we might be a small place in the middle of a cornfield, but there is nothing small about the pride we feel. And class of 2017, I wanna thank you for helping us to bring that back. I promise you, one of our gifts back to you is that, that that pride will keep growing so that every time you come back home, and we hope that is often, your pride in where you came from and your pride in who you are will always be and will always keep growing and growing and growing. Class of 2017, the very first class I had the privilege of being your, your principal for all four years, I am proud to call you Caneland Knights. I wish you the best, and I look forward to welcoming you home again. It is my honor now to introduce to you Superintendent of Caneland School District, Dr. Todd Layden. Thank you, Mrs. Maris. On behalf of Caneland Community Unit District 302 administration, teachers, and staff, it is my honor to officially endorse the Caneland High School Class of 2017. This class has met the graduation requirements of District 302 and the State of Illinois. President Witt and members of the Board of Education, I officially present to you the 331 members of the class of 2017. Thank you, Dr. Layden. It's my honor and my pleasure on behalf of the Caneland Board of Education to accept the Caneland High School class of 2017. You have met and exceeded all requirements set forth by the state of Illinois and the Caneland Board of Education. We are proud of your accomplishments, and we ask that you now come forward to receive your diplomas. Catherine Grace Albano. Connor Gabriel Allen. 
Alexandria Anderson, Kendall Elizabeth Anderson, Lionel Arredondo, Kaya Elizabeth Atkins, Amanda Josephine Bade, Kevin Eduardo Bejena, Lorena Bejena, Sarah Emily Ball, Natalie Paige Barnhart, Brianna Nicole Bartman, Brooke Martin Bestone, Karen Samantha Becker, Kristen Alyssa Becker, Taylor Ann Bendowitz, Brant Kyle Benson, Bo Norbert Batustek, Ryan John Betts, Stephen Joseph Bicos, Kaylee Rose Bellata, John Joseph Bittenbinder, Elena Ann Blankenhagen, Anthony Nicholas Bohanic, Emily, I'm sorry, Emma Michael Bohm, Riley Elizabeth Bourne, Jessica Gay Bogren, Joseph John Brandonicio, Isaac Benjamin Brazy, Heather Marie Briggs, Nicole Jean Brown, John Wallace Bruce, Garrett Evan Berkey, Devin May Berry, Alexandra Burrell, Cody McAllister Bazinski, Luke Alexander Calabrese, Quinn Bernard Callahan, Anthony Luis Camacho, Devin Patrick Carmody, Evan Mark Katanag, Caitlin Jenna Call, Leslie Desiree Chavez, Claire Lorraine Chevalier, Joshua Mason Klein, Holly Ann Collingborn, Kyle Stephen Collins, Mary Helen Collum, Mason Joseph Conroy, Kayla Brianna Cori Rossi, Sinclair Rose Cress, Ashley Ray Custer, Kyla Jean Daly, Sarah Nicole Daly. Lauren Elizabeth Danhauer, 
Nicholas Brandon Darlick, Sydney Grace Davidson, Anthony Robert Dawood, Cody Allen Lane Delarm, Alexander Manuel Delgado, Adrian Armando Diaz, Amanda Diaz, Christopher John Deal, Grace Elizabeth Dotis, Carson James Dahl, Jacob Ryan Dresmel, Noah Robert Duffy, Willow Shea Dunn, Tyler Robert Dewey, Jack Henry Eberhardt, Erica Lynn Eckert, Ryan James Edwards, Luke Andrew Eggenberger, Carly Paige Elliott, Angel David Escondrias, Davis James Espy, Kimberly Candelaria Espinoza, Caitlin Marie Utzler, Amber Nicole Evans, Joseph Seth Fonestock, Jacob Ryan Favor, Chloe Z. Filipski, Daniel Joseph Frank, Juan Raymond Franco, Alessandria Friedel Gens, Cassidy Renee Garland, Lenora Garza, Ryan Ronald Gemini, Rebecca Sandra Geringer, Jack P. Gerling, Leanne June Mejia Herodias, Noah Patrick Geyer, Morgan Claire Gologoli, Neil Richard Glazer, Brett Patrick Glennon, Alexa Mary Goodwin, Rachel Denise Gores, McKenna Faith Graham, Connor James Gresser. Samantha Bryce Grimm. Nicholas Jordan Grimes. Alexandra Dakota Grimpy. (coughs) 
Jason Patrick Gudendorf. Alexandra Rose Guerra. Paige Caitlin Guerrero. Colin Jeffrey Guzman. Anil Alyssa Gutierrez. Paige Elizabeth Guyton. Daniel Andres Guzman. Zoe Colette Hainish. Alexander David Hallam. Caitlin Nicole Hammermeister. Michael Joseph Hammond. Gage Nicholas Hansen. Marcus Luke Harper. Tony Curtis Harris III. Amanda Mia Harsley. Kenneth Adrian Hart. Jenna Nicole Harvell. Preston Charles Havis. Danielle Catherine Heyman. Jake Stephen Head. Lexi Nicole Head. Abigail Arlene Heineke. Justin Edward Hines. Taylor Kate Heiser. Clark Stephen Hendricks. Karina Nyla Aguas Herrero. Colin Ethan Human. Caitlin Elizabeth Huber. Thomas Rogelio Huff. Jacob Grant Hummel. Zachary Curtis Hurst. Trevor James Johns. Mason Leon Jendrusek. Allison Diane Jezanowski. Ryan David Job. Erica K. Johnson. Jessica Marie Johnson. Mitchell Hunter Jones. Noah Walter Kalinowski. <coughs> Kyle D Donald Kennedy. <coughs> Andrew Thomas Cantola. <coughs> Austin Tyler Kedzie. <coughs> Madison Michelle Kiefer. Jackson William Kettlecamp. 
Jack Allen Kilgore. Brett Charles Kinnanen. Molly Jean Kinnanen. Juliana Elizabeth Klecka. Alexander James Kluskowski. Noah James Klusowski. Caitlin Elizabeth Kocher. Jared Christopher Kovac. Samantha Jane Kowalczyk. Harrison William Kragi. Haley Jean Kroll. Tyler Douglas Kraus. Michael Clement Kraus. Kylie Jean Kurtz. Zachary David Lamb. Jenna Elaine Lancaster. Rich Thomas Lappa. Dominic Peter LaSalle. Eric Allen Lane. Tyler Richard Ledone. Grace Indira Lindgren. Lauren Jean Lindau. Dustin James Lopez. Juliana Alejandra Lopez. Benjamin Allen Lichen. Jason Michael McTrinder. Donald Eugene Mahan. Lauren Judith Mackey. Michael Richard Mackey. Jackson Presley Miles Manis. John Jack Raymond Marshall. Sabrina Nicole Massa. Justin Raleigh McEldery. Sarah Beth Eleanor McAvoy. Jonathan Alden McGarvey. Katrina Lynn McNew. Christian Medrano. Abigail Patricia Mejia. Parker Michael Messick. Anthony Michael Messina. Elizabeth Lucille Mills. Natalie Rose Mills. Jacob Edward Milton. Michael Brendan Minogue. Brandon Anthony Myers. 
Chad Patrick Mitchell. Kylie Paige Modeth. Charity Angelina David Montalbano. Thomas Oliver Moon. Christian Damian Mosier. Troy Jonathan Moss. Mackenzie Lynn Mulder. Aaliyah Marie Mulvihill. Alyssa Renee Murabito. Patrick James Murphy. Haley Murray. Robert Guy Knockreiner. Austin Ryan Nash. Hannah Nicole Nowert. Amarani Nava. Jacob Ryan Needham. Samantha Nicole Negro. Aiden Emrys Nice. Robert Michael Nelson. Ryan Jacob Nievenhoven. Jessica Huang Nugent. Brenna Monica Niemeyer. Logan Dakota Nig. Matthew Jordan Knoll. Joshua Paul Norman. Samantha Marie Nuno. Connor Thomas O'Brien. Jacob Alexander Obremski. Lauren Nicole Ortiz. Cornelia Isabella Papas. Hayden Chandler Patterson. Giselle Alexia Paz. Jacob Patrick Pearson. Jesus Peneran. Julia Rose Pence. Justin Peponi. Daniel Perez. Hannah Nicole Peters. Victoria Marie Petkus. Michael Edward Petrick. Dakota Cordell Phillips. Serena Rochelle Pierce.
Samantha Lee Pilkington. Joshua Michael Palestrini. Audra May Pooler. Julia Christine Pratt. Mackenzie Noel Pritchard. Derek Dale Pulliam. Abigail Jane Purnell. Sabine Rahman. Bailey K. Alohilani Sharad Ramirez. Christina Marie Rausch. Matthew Marcus Redman. Hunter Charles Regelbruggy. Nicholas Arthur Regnier. Alexa Rendina. Rebecca Therese Richtman. Hannah Justine Dykoff Rienten. Adam Pablo Rivas. <laughs> Brianna Milagro Rivera. Tyler Christopher Robinson. Alicia Nicole Rocha. Skylar Victoria Rollet. Michael Anthony Romano. Lucas Reinhard Yuri Rotter. Nina Elizabeth Rotter. <laughs> Tyler Jared Rowe. Peyton Elizabeth Rowland. Rianne Michelle Rauhai. Natalia Ruiz. Sierra Rose Rush. Cole Arthur Rudder. Ariel Salinas.
Mason Eric Sampson. Mireya Alexis Sandoval. Tyler Austin Sauber. Harrison James Sailors. Winter Rose Schmidt. Cody Arthur Schrepferman. Marley Andrea Schultz. Ryan Paul Sears. Nathan Allen Seiler. Abigail Louise Shaw. Nicholas Ronald Shaw. Jacob William Shearer. Caden Gabriel James Sheehan. Nathaniel Paul Shelton. Kristen Elizabeth Siebert. Emily Renee Seivert. Alec Christopher Smith. Dylan Michael Smith. Quinton Isaiah Smith. Justin G. Socha. Elena Spataro. Jamie Marie Speckman. Benjamin Noel Spiziri. Nicole Marianne Srinen. Ryan John St. Peter. Sydney Marie Stacy. Alyssa Ann Stair. Noah Christopher Stapleton Berger. Eric Ryan Stoll. Samuel Wade Suggs. Jacob Daniel Susslin. Megan Jordan Talbot. Thaddeus Roy Wang Thompson. Tiffany Marie Thompson. Serene Torres. Elizabeth Erin Towell. Patrick Keith Torina. Jacob Anthony Urban. Gustavo Gil Valero. Jeffrey Steven Van Gemmer.
Tyler Thomas Van Plew. Kate McKenna Van Dinther. Riley Thomas Bannock. Estefania Vasquez Lopez. Laura Elizabeth Veneri. Lindsay Ann Branicar. Daniel Connor Walker. Ryan Christopher Walker. Jessica K. Weber. Morgan Ray Weber. Jared J. Webster. Justin Mark Weiber. John James Wigan. Gerald Andrew Wesley. Hallie Renee Wilhelm. Brock Michael Williams. Preston Charles Williams. Tyler John Williams. Cassandra Elizabeth Wilson. Erica Allison Witt. David Gilbert Wojak. Megan Marie Wolski. Zachary Charles Woodward. Samuel Henry Wooten. Samuel Edward Wirtz. Cameron Ann Wyant. Marco Alexander Zavala. Hayden Lawrence Zimmer. Taylor Ann Zickus. Brian Thomas Zollinger. Matthew Michael Zappa. Congratulations, class of 2017. Please rise for our school fight song.
You may be seated. I now have the pleasure of presenting our Caneland High School Senior and Madrigal Choir, directed by Mr. Brian Kuntzman. Uh, thank you for coming out. My name, is that good there? My name is Michael Petrick, and my name is Michael Petrick, and I'm the lying politician you elected as vice president. <laughs> I'd like to thank the family, friends, and parents of our students that came out here to watch us get a piece of paper and a handshake. And a nice flower, I forgot about the flower. It's not in my speech. I'd like to give a shout out to all my friends, my family that's here, and the undefeated golf team this year. What an accomplishment, thank you. I'd also like to wish Mr. Green, Ms. McFarland, and any other teachers ending their Caneland career a happy and uh, enjoyable retirement. When I jokingly said I would eat cereal for my speech, like I've done in the past, <clears throat> I was given some advice. I was told, just fake it, Mike. Make up something nice about Caneland, put it on paper, say it, and then get it over with. But don't eat cereal. You know who you are, you're in this audience, and this spoonful's for you. Eating cereal on stage isn't something moving or profound or even that funny. Most of us probably ate cereal this morning. But eating cereal on stage is mine. 
It's something that makes me who I am. Just as Kristen wouldn't be Kristen without Mount Everest, or, or how Mr. Green wouldn't be Mr. Green without shouting, oh my back. These are the things that, give, that make us who we are. They give us identity. As we debouch on this journey called life, we must remember a few things. Brush our teeth twice a day, eat a well-balanced breakfast, and that the Pacergram fitness test is a multi-stage aerobatic capacity test that progressively gets more difficult as it continues. But most importantly, we must never forget to be who we are. We must never give up on our dreams. We must never not take chances or reach for the stars. We must never give in to the ordinary and be clubbed into dank mediocrity. As we enter this new phase of our lives, we must take chances. We must pursue our dreams and our passions. We must make choices for us. We must do and say as we would do and say because in our heart of hearts, that's that we know that is who we are and that our lives are meant to be lived true and honest. I think this year, we've all seen that life is tragically too short. Too short to be filled with regret, too short not to take chances, and too short not to pursue our dreams. We must never surrender who we are. We must not let our lives be washed away into the masses and far, forgotten forever. We must not let our lives be bleached out and put, us, put into some tasteless heap of nine to five with some kids on the way. It is no offense to people who have kids. Thanks, Mom and Dad. <laughs> Life is meant to be filled with love and romance, meant to be decorated with art and culture. Life is a passionate affair full of beauty, and we get a chance to take part in it. We ask ourselves often, what good is it? The congested streets and crowded cities, the vain desires of man, coveting and lusting over things he will never have, the struggle for new, never done with, always coming up just an inch short, being condemned to be another sheep in the herd, to work for years, getting up early, drinking bitter coffee, and floating aimlessly through life without a purpose. What good is this? To quote Robin Williams quoting Walt Whitman, that you are here, that life exists, and identity. That the powerful play goes on and you may contribute a verse. What will your verse be? That's where you clap. This is the part that they wrote for me, so the language won't be as uh, exciting. Class of 2017, exclamation point. It is now time for turning the tassel, symbolizing the tra <coughs> I'm so sorry. <coughs> I didn't have any milk. Now is the time for turning the tassel, symbolizing the transition from one stage of life to another. Please rise with me and join me in moving your tassels from the left side, over here for me, over here for you, to the right side, over here for me, over here for you. Move tassel. Congratulations, graduates. Faculty and staff, please begin to form your congratulatory tunnel. Caneland Board of Education and Administration, please join me as we begin our recession. Class of 2017, please remain calm and please remain standing as we dismiss you one row at a time. Starting from the front, of course. Congratulations, I thank you. Good night and keep fighting the good fight. <laughs>